My name is Rapsing, welcome back! Slay the Spire, we're gonna be playing the 20th level of Ascension for the Silent with a Sealed deck. Let's go. Uh, 10 cards, 10 cards, thank you. Show me them. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yo, there's, uh, there's something interesting going on in here. Uh, it depends how crazy we want to go with this, right? There's very little defense available here, like blur, two copies of cloak and dagger, a backflip, uh, two copies of piercing whale, about it. No leg sweep, nothing, uh, nothing of that varietal. Uh, but what there is, is a deck that I would never run in my right mind. Uh, slice, 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 expertise. Just mill out cards from my hand, play expertise. Uh, and then, hell, let's also put a prepared, a prepared, a backflip, and a tactician in there. <laughs> I don't expect this to leave floor one, but god, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I need extra draw power, right? So, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those prepareds probably both need upgrades really early. Concentrate is not good here. We're not actually looking to discard things. We're just looking to try and get to expertise as quickly as possible. Uh, I suspect that we might just take Quick Slash. And possibly even Dagger Throw. But this deck has, like, zero defense if I... I didn't want to take that. It's going to take another defensive card. All right. Fine. I'll just accept it. Damn. The tactician. Time to keep going. The tactician. Hey, we did end up with expertise as well. Beautiful. <laughs> the deck works. Don't, don't, don't actually let me do this game. This is dumb. This is dumb. You know this is dumb. Don't make me. It's not make me, but don't let me. Uh, get the blade dance out of there. Expertise and backflip both got upgraded. My God, those are exactly the two cards I would have chosen to upgrade. It is ridiculous that both of those got hit. Expertise for a refill. Oh, it's so good. Like, it's bad and it's dumb, but it's super good. No. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess we just go off. Like, go off, I guess. Thin down hands. <laughs> Wee! I probably want to backlit first because I'm trying to get back to my expertise. So one, two, three, four. Prepare, drops tactician, plays expertise. Hang on. Draw five cards. There, there has to be a combo here that makes this an infinite. How to make it reliable? Well, my opening hand. So, let's assume that I can't do anything about the Ascenders Bank because I can't. Right. So I can draw up to seven. That gets it in my discard. So if the deck is seven cards and one of them in, uh, and it's seven cards, it's slice, slice, prepared, backflip, tactician, expertise, and ascenders pain. We have to cut one of the slices. We don't cut it early, but we do want to cut one of the slices for this to actually be an infinite.
fine. Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is so dumb, and I love everything about it. The more cards we can get in our opening hand, the far better off we are. So the best relic that we can actually find uh, at this point, it seems to me, would be bag preparation. Mummified hand, whenever you play a power card, a random card, and you have card zero for the rest of the turn. So, do I want to try an infinite? It dies against Time Eater. And we're in double boss. <sighs> it dies against Time Eater and we're in double boss. I can't do infinite. Because we're in double boss, right? So it's only like a one third chance I don't even fight the Time Eater. And this dies against Thorns as well. Yeah, so I, don't, I can't play into it. I have to take that back flip. Tactician getting upgraded is obviously great. Both of those uh, prepares are also really good to upgrade. Mm -hmm. An upgraded Terra would also be a really great pickup for us. Hmm. Backflip first. Just looking to try and get expertise back in the hand, and we have. Lovely. Do it again. Okay, so prepared drops tactician. We're actually just building energy constantly here. <laughs> all right, all right, we're doing it, we're doing it. I'm memorial to get the next curses you obtain. Sure. Sure. Let's see if that even affects us. Okay, I'm trying to make sure that I don't misplay any of these cards. It's difficult for me, you must understand. Draw. That'll do. That'll do! <laughs> ah. yeah, we'll prepare it into backflip to get another draw. Great. We actually ended our round. Finally. We can't have this be an infinite, so we'll be building away from that and trying to get more value built into this deck. Matryoshka, the next new non chest you open contain two relics as well as Wraith form? Yeah. It's actually really good. If I can ever afford to play Wraith form, it's the best thing that I can do. That doesn't necessarily mean that I have to play it every fight, of course. But if I ever can, it's the most important thing. Expertise before anything else. Some jaws, as well as... Nope. Hmm... Deal 10 damage. If you discard a card this turn, gain energy. We discard cards every turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and experiment with the Sneaky Strike here. Upgraded as well. Right, well, Sneaky Strike is already online.
Hmm. Yeah, and no, I can see what the problem with all of this is ultimately going to be. Standing up with too many cards in my hand that uh, don't get us to our next card. Endless Agony is just free damage for this kind of a deck, right? All right. I'm super interested in trying. <laughs> Great pickup. Go for the sneaky strike, of course. Let's finish off that backliner. Really? Expertise, absolute bottom of the deck. Worst case scenario for us. <clears throat> and now those days are in our deck as well, so the cycle is far slower. Thankfully, it's working out a little better than I otherwise would have expected. Not going to play that prepared, though. Find me the expertise, and you have. Beautiful, much appreciated. Woo! <laughs> Bronze scales. Uh, Slightly combo with three thorns. Fire uh, Except pretty good. It's good damage for us. Let's upgrade Wraith form. Feels like that's going to be important in this fight. And he has all these thorns that I have to worry about. So we get the transformation there, but unfortunately, nothing doing with the rest of our hands. We're going to be attacking the enemy through their thorns constantly here, which is concerning. I'd love ornamental fans, obviously. And this is one of the good things to have Wraithorn in the deck for. Buy myself a couple of turns, and that couple of turns should be enough, really. It's really important I still have that prepared in hand when I end up with my tactician. Mm -hmm. Strike will work. Draw, and now we're back down to expertise. Beautiful. Without the mana to play it. Not beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, that's decent damage at the very least. And this is kind of an enemy that should be hard countering me, and we're kind of hard countering it right back. Beautiful. We need strength buffs? It's obviously after image, right? Makes another card in our hand cost zero. Uh, obviously cursed key. We negate the next curses anyway. Ooh. We're not going to want to take curses outside of chests because because of Matroshka, opening those chests is the most important thing that we can do. <laughs> We've got thorns. Lovely. Right, so how much defense can I really generate here? Mm, depends. Let's see what we get with the backflip. Nothing doing there. Let's see what we get with this. I think I'm actually going to try and not put any of them on the ground. Ideally. Okay. I think that's the best way that I put none of them on the ground. Well, I should kill one of them then, right? Otherwise, I'm just wasting so much of the potential. 
We'll kill the healthiest target then, I guess. <laughs> Drawing to expertise, the perfect card at the perfect time. And I'll just let the rest of that one happen. Alright, yeah, apparently it's pretty good. <laughs> Acrobatics, draw four cards, discard one card with a tactician in the deck? Yes. Removing cards is actually really important here as well. Um, worst card in the deck at the moment is the Quit Slash. Upgrade all strikes and defends. We have none. Remove a card from the deck. What would I remove if I did at this point? Backstab. Not backstab. Probably on this agony, actually. I know I just added it as well, by the way. Frozen Eye is ridiculous here. It's absolutely insane. I, I will know where the right cards are. Three apparitions. After image, three apparitions and wraith form. That just gives me time to cycle off. I have to. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty good turn. Four turns of intangibility are I set up. Pretty far from Tactician, so I'll backflip Acrobatics into the Tactician, drop the Tactician. Expertise is next time. So, do exactly what you might expect here generate a new draw pile. Next card's not Tactician, but the card after it is. So, I can Expertise in order to get Tactician out. Just keep going, just keep going. Um, I do need to generate a new draw pile before I really know anything from Frozen Eye, unfortunately. Yeah, we're too far from important cards to play them. As strike expertise gives us exactly what we need. Thank you. These backflips are worse acrobatics at this point in time. So if I get another acrobatics, I'll add it to the deck and then cut a backflip. And... There she blows. Bag of preparation, the start of combat, draw two additional cards. Exactly what I was asking for. Exactly. Thank you. The card is guarded from your hand, draw a card. Yup. So this is a... a Discard zero cost intangibility synergy deck. This is the kind of thing that I am incapable of building in uh, in a standard run because you have to cut all of the cards from your base deck before this kind of thing is as effective as it currently is. And especially in Ascension 20, it is real rough. It's also worth noting, I am getting very lucky and getting offered cards that almost exclusively synergize with the build that I tried to draft in the sealed deck. Uh, Fear Potion is actually really important. It's not as important as those defensive things, though. Obviously, Reflex. Hmm. If I'm playing any apparitions, I play all my apparitions this turn. Is that correct? That's correct. Man, all my damage is out of the deck at the moment. Okay. Damn it, second turn of intangibility turned out not to be needed. Draw. 
Hmm. Expertise doesn't currently get me to a zero cost. Now it does. And then we cycle out Reflex. Drawing extra cards. We'll play a Slice, then Acrobatics to drop the Tactician. Now I can play Sneaky Strike. I'm prepared to drop a Backflip. Backflip gets us another Tactician, and then we'll drop... My gosh. This is wild as hell. <laughs> it's like a semi-infinite? It's like kind of... It's, it's infinish, right? Might not be an infinite, but it's infinite adjacent. Ah, uh, Tactician's at the bottom of the deck, so we're super far from our next energy pull. And we can't even play that Sneaky Strike. I do want my next hand to have Prepared Sneaky Strike. So, my next hand will have all of these. I'll play the Prepared, drop the Reflex, then I pick up Expertise and Slice. I just play out all of those, then play the Expertise. So, as long as I stop drawing right now, we're fine. So exciting. <laughs> Prepared drops reflex. And then expertise. Drop another tactician there. And then a reflex here. Oh my god. Yeah. Again, this feels like as soon as I get to the wrong boss, this is an awful time, right? Like, uh, well, we already know who the wrong boss is, right? Repeat after me. Time Eater! Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's gonna be a bad time, but it's a fun deck. You... What? Tingsha, whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal three damage to a random enemy. Thanks, Tim. Smiling Mars and Merchant's card mover service now always cost 50 gold, as well as the boot. Whenever you do a 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Uh, no. Don't really want any of those. I do want to upgrade cards really badly, but oof. Question mark space is good. I do need to discard something before that Sneaky Strike is active. Should just be a slice, I guess. But the Sneaky Strike refunds energy because it costs zero. Then I'll Acrobatics through the Tactician. Uh, I don't want to prepare the Reflex, right, until I've got a slice. No, I didn't need to do that. Oh, right, because I removed the card from my hand as well as this guy. Yeah, never mind. It's fine. Um, still only two positive. These apparitions do actually need to get out of the deck before this deck is really effective, but... Just because they're chunking up my ability to actually use expertise. In fact, I suspect this is probably yeah, the last thing I get to do here. That's okay, though. No, almost killed the enemy. Strength up is obviously ridiculous. Weakness. Sorry, vulnerability is obviously ridiculous as well. Escape plan cycles itself. Is that useful? How is that useful for me? Hmm. Just immediately replaces itself. An extra card played? I guess it's good for after image. Probably doesn't get its block. Seems like just another card that's going to be bad against the time eater. I'm going to take it. Duplicate a card in the deck. Well, Tactician, Expertise, Wraith Form, After Image, Reflex, Acrobatics. We've got a lot of really good choices here. I feel like we already have enough draw. 
I don't think we need a uh, second expertise. Maybe we want more energy generation, like another tactician. In fact, I suspect we do. Especially because it's going to be far easier for me to get a second acrobatics on my own than a second tactician, especially a pre-upgraded one. Unfortunate opening hand, there's not enough to scard here. And costs are randomized and now I lose. <laughs> yeah, I had to yeah, I had to you had to confuse me, eh? Damn it, Sneaky Strike could have refunded more energy than that. Well, good thing I have the intangibility. Acrobatics drops tactician. Prepare drops tactician. Prepare drops reflex. The extra draw. Fine. Couple more turns as well. Hey, at least we got discard here. We're fine. Got him. Uh, no, that. Go for another elite, of course. I just want to see how far this deck can get. So I'm amazed it's as far as it is. Ooh, good expertise. Let's get rid of Tactician. We have more card draw. Already. I'm probably just going to play out the apparition here, but we'll see. That's really unfortunate. <clears throat> we don't have the ability to draw into anything to affect the tactician here. We're literally just two extra cards away from it. <clears throat> and those wounds are a problem as well. Thankfully, like, because I'm not running this as an infinite, I'm just running it as a deck that manages to generate a ridiculous amount of value. Uh, for that reason, we are far more resilient to deck trashing effects as well as things just ceasing the infinite normally. That's largely by design, but a happy consequence of how I was trying to deal with a different problem. Obviously, I discarded the wrong card there. I was trying to play a little bit quick. Just a wee bit too quick. Oh. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Eviscerate is a great way to deal a bunch of damage here, but do we discard enough cards in a turn to play Eviscerate? Yes. Yes, we do. Is the answer to that, of course. What are you talking about? Um, these prepareds need to be upgraded as well. Specifically because of that Evisceration's inclusion in the deck and the fact that we have the second Tactician. Backstab Slice, get out of here. And then it's prepared on both of the obvious cards there. I'm just going to casually refill all of my energy in hand. Alright. Well, Acrobatics first here. Just because I want these slices not to be in the next shuffle, because I want to get to my expertise as quickly as possible here. Speaking of, uh, as soon as I use that prepared, we're back to expertise. Beautiful. Because I dropped the... I mean, I guess I just dropped those two, right? Back into another expertise. 
Uh, I have to use both backflips in order to get to an acrobatics, and that's not even enough to allow me to play on the card. Damn. My next hand is better if I don't play anything here. That throw... <laughs> Sorry, I almost choked myself on my own saliva out of excitement there. Uh, that, that, uh, the frozen eye is really pulling its weight here. Like, oh my gosh. That's some hardcore weight pulling going on. Uh, let's drop that prepared, actually. Slice, slice, slice. Sneaky strike, Evis. Let's all backflip. Try and mill these cards out of my hand. Expertise is just the card I leave in my hand as long as I possibly can. And if I have to play it, uh, I have to play it. See if I can start cycling again, I guess. Because we have enough energy generation not to worry about it otherwise. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's working. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I obviously I can't play just Sealed Draft for too long because it does have a ridiculous pi uh, power spike in the early game. But also, it does feel nice to kind of just destroy the game occasionally, uh, especially considering how much I've played almost exclusively A20 recently. It's a nice palate cleanser, so to speak. In Venom is fine. So also the trade is really good as well, though. Tools so the trade is really good. And we already have our own strength scaling. We literally we literally killed on the second turn there, right? So the enemy takes one instance of poison. It's not impactful. It's tools the trade. Although, again, one turn. So it's tools of the trade impactful, right? Because poison damage is dealt at the end of a turn. Tools of the trade triggers at the start of a turn. Ideally, those things only happen once. I... It doesn't entirely follow, but I suspect the correct thing here is to take nothing. That's a hard decision to make, though. Just screaming on the inside. And the outside a little bit, actually, though. Finally, a viable wrist blade! This is also something else that I really like the still drop for, as I was saying earlier, right? But I will reiterate here because I feel it an incredibly important point. Uh, you can do things in this mode that you just can't do. You, they're just not viable in the base. Or rather, wouldn't be viable to this extent. I'm not going to say that a discard deck isn't viable in the base. I'm not going to say that a expertise deck isn't viable in the base. I mean, I've run it before, but I did run it before I was doing, you know, Ascension 20 stuff. But it's hard to argue it's not far more viable in this position. It's really unfortunate. Was there an expertise? I'm going to prepare to drop. Yes. Play the apparition. Then after image hits my backflip. Backflip first because I don't want to draw back into aggressive cards here. Ideally, I want to draw back into expertise. Something like this, right, would be pretty good. Oh, God. <sighs> Another prepared is probably too much. The deck has a nice balance right now. Don't want to spend that much money on a red mask. Yeah, I'll take that much money, though. Find me a shot, please. So these guys can trash my deck, but they get exactly one turn to do so. Ooh, but they're trying. That's four burns that are going to be included in my deck right now. Okay. 
can I do here best? All right, yeah, we'll just play out naturally again. Thank you, Expertise, for being here for me. And we'll get rid of Wraithform. We're not going to need it. I suspect. One. Two. Drop that Tactician. See... Another tactician in a couple too many cards for me right now. So I'll expertise first. And then use the acrobatics to get back into the energy. And my god, Eviscerate is the best pickup I've ever made. Mango, raise your max HP by 14 as well as hilarious. I don't want any of that. Why would I? Blade Dance is good. Really good. I don't want it. Remove a card and upgrade a card, or upgrade two random cards. Upgrading two random cards is pretty good, but is there any card here I want to remove at this point in time? I don't think there is. If anything, it's backstab, just to make my opening hand a little bit more reliable. Actually, that's pretty important. Like, it's nice damage, but... Not needed? If I go up in this direction, at the very least, I know I have a shot. That's good. Hmm. Top four cards, so I can get to a reflex, but then how do I discard that reflex, right? So instead, I probably want to backflip first so that the acrobatics drops the tactician so that I get extra energy. Okay, acrobatics drops tactician. Murder you, murder you. One, two, three. Four, play out the expertise and keep on going. Oh my god. <laughs> and we're back in the clear. Hell yeah. Expertise again. <laughs> um, sure. Acrobatics on the tactician and god, we can't be that far from lethal right now, right? We can't. Strawberry, race max HP by seven. As well as no. We're going to do that. Uh, after image in the opening hand, it's pretty good. So it's Dono and Decker is our first boss, by the way. Ooh, Sneaky Strike is actually possibly the best discard we could have gotten there. Uh, we do want an Apparition. I'm going to get rid of Eviscerate, actually. down. Didn't manage to find any other draw power, so the rest of our deck is draw, 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 draw. I mean, it had to be in order to deny us that. Let's go for... Apparition backflip. Looking for energy generation wherever I can find it right now. That'll do part of it. I'm looking for a strength upgrade. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. The Tingsha already hit the back line, right? So I don't need to use a strength upgrade for it. Expertise draws us into Lethal. Ooh, Caltrops. No. Potion Belt and pumping up game two potion slots as well as Pandem. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. I'm going to try and line that up constantly with uh, Eviscerate. I'm going to try and get this kill here. Let's see if we can do that. That sounds fun. Sounds like a good time. It also kind of sounds like a great classic hit, 101.7 WSFM, but, you know, it's none of my business. All right. Ooh. We're pretty far from this being nice again. I don't want to drop those, though. I just want to drop these. 
drop the new one. One, two, three. This expertise. Looking for, I guess, yeah, just prepared to get me back into the ability to actually play all the cards. Acrobatics will hit the Tactician. Putting us in a pretty grand position here. Prepared drops Tactician. I will play the Wraith Form here because if it hits Sneaky Strike, it's fine. If it hits Expertise, it's fine. Nice. The Sneaky Strike is just going to refund me energy or Expertise would have drawn me into the ability to try and gain energy. Both of those seem pretty good to me. Just got to hold on for a little bit longer before that eviscerator is obviously incredible. One, two, and then 90 damage eviscerate. So this is actually a really good way to track how effective this deck is, right? I've done 447 damage on turn one, and I have 64 block, as well as six strength. This deck is mean. It's actually very mean. Okay, and now that we've run out of draw power, it's time to pop a final resort expertise. Even the sneaky strike here. Throw out two more slices and then a giant eviscerate. Expertise in the next hand. This is an infinite, I suspect, but it's one of those infinites that has so many moving parts that to sit down and figure out exactly what makes it an infinite would take so long that I would actually prefer to just sit here and play it, right? Try and get it to effectively be an infinite for us. Okay, my goal here is to discard three cards now. And get the enemy killed via... Uh, via discarding cards. Actually, no, I can have the enemy die by attacking me. I was going to take so many copies of Deflect for this deck, but no. Uh-uh. Our intangibility is covetous. It's fine. We'll drop these two. Then Sneaky Strike is actually a refund of energy. One, two, drop the tactician, we're fine. Prepared, drop the tactician, we're still fine. And now I can go off with the rest of my stuff. Lovely. It's basically what I needed. One, two, expertise. I might not actually be able to continue. Never mind. We got the tactician back. The duplication of the tactician is, I think, maybe the most clever thing I've done this wrong. Blood Vial at the start of combat, heal for 2 HP. Concentrate. Expertise, Concentrate do work together. And I know I discarded them at the start, but energy wasn't my concern at that time. Energy still isn't my concern. And being able to discard cards still isn't my concern. We don't take it. Draw is the only thing that stops us. Thank you for this shot, by the way. Runic Dedicahedra and Trace, we have all gained energy at the start of your turn. Pretty easy for us to do. Yes. Unplayable status card, gonna be played. Hey, get those out of the hand. Uh, Anchor started to come by with 10 block. Less important. Panache is a lot of damage for us. But is it worth the card? It is actually, because Panache is an energy accelerant for us. It costs zero and it makes something else cost zero that doesn't already cost zero, exactly. Well said. Couldn't have said it better myself.
bots. Love it. Uh, yeah, we just... The first cycle to me seems dedicated to trying to generate enough energy to play all of... Oh, hang on. This is bad right now. Hidden Apparition. It did. Great. Uh, to play out as many of my Apparition effects as possible. That seems to me the only purpose. Or rather the main purpose, at least. Those two. Huh. Great. I'm just letting the AoE take care of the rest of them for me. I don't necessarily think I should be in that fight longer than I want to be. What a flame. Upon pickup, choose an attack. It starts in your opening hand. Well, the thing about that is uh, pretty much all of our attacks start in our opening hand, basically. Do I take the second Wraith form? I think it's way overkill. It's also an energy problem in our first cycle to do that. I guess I just put Ebus in my opening hand or whatever. No need not to. <clears throat> Panish. Great. Am I going to draw into anything with the discard sense? No. Not even if I draw naturally first, though. Fine. Let's get rid of those two so that I can actually just play out Wraith form. Definitely discarded cards. And now I get to expertise into an entirely new deck. Sorry, entirely new hand, rather. Uh, draw is not our problem. Energy is our problem at that point in time. Draw is a little bit our problem right now. Now we're fine again. Oh my god. Oh, I love it so much. Uh, Smith, uh, I mean, this only gets six more damage on it. Panache gets eight per trigger. I suspect overall this is going to be more damage. This fight's probably going to be the easiest one for us. So I'm not going to be using any of my potions for this one. We don't need the draw. We need the extra energy right now. Prepare. Tactician's too far away right now. Fine. Backflip, I can get myself to Wraith Form. And Panache, actually. Let's um let's throw one of these apparitions out of the hand at the moment. Great. And now the cycle continues. Lovely. I kind of want to hold that Abyss so that I get the Pen Nib, but instead, if I just play it, I draw an extra card, and it costs me zero to play. So it seems like I just do that regardless. How far is my next... Ooh, Abyss is actually really close right now. So I backflip, and now I have Abyss back. Yay! All right, acrobatics, find me another draw card, please. <laughs> no? Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All right. I have to play both backflips here. Gets me to a prepared that can start discarding things, and now we can go off again. All right. Beautiful. Goodbye, Deco. <laughs> ah. 
In the custom run, uh, unless you activate it at the very start, there's not... In the custom run, unless you activate it at the very start... In the custom run, unless you activate... What am I trying to say? Finish this sentence in your head first. In the custom run, unless you activate it at the very start, you don't have the opportunity to go to the fourth act, the ending. And for that reason, I, I can't go to the heart. Maybe I should start turning that on as well. But I suspect that also will impact the type of deck that I run, right? Like, this infinite is pretty garbage against the heart. It's helped by the fact that I have the medical kit, but it would need to have boot. Because boot can over boot can override the invincibility of the heart. For some reason. Oh, we have boot! Never mind. This actually could have killed the heart. But it's it's worth noting that medical kit isn't essential for that, I don't suspect. It does make it a lot harder. But without the boot, this infinite just would die. And I, I don't want whatever deck I create to have to be dictated by whether or not it would be successful against the heart. Because I know that if I was planning on going to the heart, I wouldn't have drafted this at the start. Probably would have gone for a poison build. And everyone's seen that before a couple billion times. This is one of the most effective things you can do in High Ascension. So I've, I've done it constantly. Um, I just kind of like the, the palate cleanser. Which is apparently the uh, phrase of the day for me. I have panache out, so I don't... Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna rush out that abyss. Reflex and Wraith Form. Let's take that expertise. All right, Acrobatics back into Tactician. Just need to make sure that I still have draw cards available at all times. Now that I have expertise, I'm not really afraid of anything, though. Awakened one looks like it's going down in turn one here. It's pretty effective. Now I can actually play Wraith Form as well. Oh, beautiful. Makes my backflip free. That's not a good next hand, just because it has... Uh, it's, mm. No, the best next hand is backflip. Because now I've got Expertise uh, and Acrobatics in the next hand, so my draw power is pretty much unparalleled. Great. It's not going to do, but hopefully Expertise draws me something worthwhile, and it do. It definitely do. And I'm just going to use my giant abyss there, if you don't mind. My good kitty god. That's the awakened one down. Didn't even use any of my potions. Why would I bother? That's just more clicks I don't have to do. 2,994. Good score. It's fine, I guess. Beyond perfect c -c 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 combo. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to do the same rule set for the defect in the next run, but... It clearly needs a little bit of a revision going forward. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.